Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Chino's Comics and more. Again, my name is Chino. This is Manny. What's up, YouTube? Guys, don't forget to West the subscribe button, hold smash the like button, Superman punch the notification bell, and don't forget to share, guys. All right, fellas, so we're back, and we got a small collection, and we actually have a an unboxing to do. Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. We haven't done an unboxing, and it's pretty cool because this collection we bought, you know, a few weeks ago is just we haven't had time to show it off, but. This came to the store and it kind of ties in with this unboxing. I think this unboxing is gonna surprise you guys. Yeah, it wasn't planned. It just um, in the area, man. We've been getting fortunate that that as as the store keeps generating more and more popularity, people are bringing us collections. And sometimes they're not great, but there's sometimes that they're they're decent. So yeah, it, it's it's tricky because you know we usually get about one or two phone calls a day saying that you know. They have books and they want quotes over the phone, but just gotta break it down for them. We gotta see the books in hand, you know? And so this collection walked in and I figured it would be a pretty pretty smart investment. Um, and I guess without further ado, we can start with this. We'll start with this and we'll finish with this. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll do the, the, the books, that way we can kind of run through them quick. Yeah, so right off the bat, guys, we have ASM 360, which is gonna be the um, cameo appearance of Carnage. So that's a, that's a really good book to pick up. Right after that, we have 361, first appearance of Carnage. So the person that came in and, and sold this collection, they're basically part of their, their Spider-Man run. Yeah, and, and they, knew, they knew what they had. Um, so, you know, they knew right off the bat that the 361 was, was the key book. So, you know, right off the bat, you know, and I feel like that's a, that's a book that's gonna keep getting hot. Um, so it's, it's a good book to pick up. And I think honestly, it's in really good condition. So we'll do a close up and, and uh, we'll, we'll get close on these books. but. You know, keep up with the theme, we have 362. So again, it's gonna be the second appearance of Carnage. So I guess the question is, is this collection going into my Spider-Man collection or Manny's collection? It just depends, man. I mean, if I gotta look at my books and if they're not up to par with these, I don't think he'll notice. He doesn't really <laughs> look at the books too closely. Uh, the following book we have is 363, beautiful cover, iconic. And then another one, 363. There it goes. One for you, one for me. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think I have maybe about three or four copies of that book. So, again, it's just comparing and, and, and always, you know, trying to, you know, better your, your collection. And then whatever you have multiples of, you can kind of unload. Yeah, it's about always upgrading to a better book. All right, the next book we have is Venom, number one. Shiny cover. I like it. Um, it's funny because my son saw it and he's like, is that for me? So, he liked the shiny cover. Venom, number two. So... Again, this kind of falls in line with the same, same theme. And then we have Venom number three. Now this cover here is pretty cool to me. Um, this is also gonna be Venom the Enemy Within. This is gonna be part one. Awesome black cover. And honestly, these books are, are in really good condition. I mean, uh, for sure the 361 just needs to be pressed and clean. And that's really gonna be the, the, the more key book out of the bunch but all these books and you know, you know they're all they're all special in their own way and they're all they're all nice books and you know carnage is coming out in the venom movie so it's it's a book that you want to be you know if you don't have it add it start looking at it, it yeah if you, if you do have one or two copies and you see it for cheap buy it before it gets kind of expensive yeah then we have venom number two and they got woody harrison playing him so venom number three i can almost say that he'll probably do just as good of a job as Heath Ledger. I don't know, man. I think Woody Harrison's a really, really good actor. Um, we'll see. But I think, you know, if he has a range, he can do some magical yeah, stuff with I that one. I think he has a range, man. Then we have Gardens of the Galaxy, another shiny cover, number 25. Silver Sable and the Wild Pack, number one. The Spectacular Spider-Man 189. I think most of these covers are all kind of shiny. Uh, but it's a good little mix. This one is kind of like the oddball. Ghost Rider number 25. And then we actually have a, some DC for you guys out there. For Bur Burke and Thor. We have Batman vs. Predator number 1. Batman vs. Predator number 2. And honestly, I wasn't even familiar with, with this run, but it looks interesting. I think that's the cool and part about three. it is when collections walk in, there's just so many books and comics out there, man, that you start seeing series that you probably never heard about or vice versa like i didn't even know this existed yeah so that's a little collection that we bought pretty pretty cool this here's the unboxing and man i don't even know where to start this is a pretty decent sized box 
I know what's inside. It's it's just one book. AF15, guys. <laughs> it's just one book. It's, it's not an AF15. Um, I wish. But let's, let's work this out, man. So, right off the bat, I don't have a, a knife, so we're going to use Oh, we, we don't have a pick knife, huh? We don't, but we'll work, right. we'll work this out. And this is going to be a book that I've had my eyes on for a good, good, good minute. Okay. Decent, decent packaging. Little bubbles, we don't need that. Check this out. So it's like a box, envelope, bubbles, not bad. Now the tricky part is, let's get this open. That's a good box, I can store more comics in there, more key books. Yeah, so I'm going to be very careful, guys, because I could probably rip it. And unboxings, they're not, you know, they're not the most attractive thing to see, but it's what's inside that really matters. And honestly, I can't wait to see it. And it, it it's not a slab. If not, you know, um, he wouldn't be as delicate with it. So, yeah, so I have to be a little more careful. Interesting. So now they put more cardboard on top. So, all right, pretty cool. Okay. And I'm just double checking, make sure I'm not going to get anything. Man, they're making me work for this one. All right, guys. So, this is the book. And we don't need this. This here, guys, gonna be Amazing Spider-Man number 13, Mysterio's First Appearance. And honestly, guys, I mean, this is a book I've had my eyes on. I've had my eyes on this one for a good, good minute. Um, it's a nice looking book, very nice. And the funny thing is that we were, well, Manny was looking at this book way before they even announced that he was gonna be coming out in, in the new Spider-Man movie. And then yeah. it got expensive. Yeah, so I've been I've been tracking this book, um, been trying to find one that I really really like, and and when I saw this one and for the price that I paid, I felt very very comfortable. I, I felt like I should you know I need to pull the trigger on it. Now you know you're stuck between a rock and a hard place, I guess when when it comes to making this decision because either one, you know after the movie it might dip or two it might still go up or it might stabilize. But it's Spider Man, man. You know the, the one thing I tell people is. Yeah. If you want to bank on something and don't don't take my don't take this you know to the bank but you know anything that has to do with spider-man it's always been you know marvel's kind of like bread and butter yeah and it's a i mean it's it's a character that kids fall in love with adults fall in love with and you know when mr coming out of the movie you know this book spiked up and you know it was undervalued for a good minute so it made sense that it went up in value um it's a nice coffee so yeah, it seems like now it's kind of adjusted to where it should have been, but this is big because this gets me closer to, to finishing my run. And when I say my run for ASM, it's not one through 800, nothing like that. It's just, I'm trying to close it up from one to 300. Um, and it's been very, very hard work, um, but I made some progress. So this, after I got this book now, I feel like it's time. It's time that we gotta, get, we gotta do a countdown. That way you guys see where I stand with my AS, ASM run because that's been a 2019 goal for me to kind of eliminate that run. So with this book, I'm, You're gonna be I'm surprised. closer. He, he's missing a, a crap load of them. Watch. Gee, it, it, there's a lot of gaps, but you guys will see. And with that, I think what we can do is- Well, we, well before, before we leave, what do you think, based on, does it need a press and clean? What, what do you grade this at? Right off the bat, I, I'm gonna get a press and clean because I'm, I wanna get this one slapped for sure. And you know, so right off the bat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the money to do that if I'm gonna send it to get great, especially an older book like this. Now I haven't popped it open to see what's inside, but based on the cover itself, I can see this scoring a solid four. Um, and maybe when it gets pressed and clean, maybe a little bit higher. Uh, but I think sometimes, you know, the third, the third party grading companies, they're a little more flexible when it comes to like Silver Age books, especially Spider-Man books. CGC, so. man, send it CGC when the cons are going, I'm telling you guys. Yeah. You wanna get a good grade, send it CGC. So as you can see guys, this was an ASM theme kind of um, combo. We have the collection we bought and we have ASM 13. And what we'll do now is we'll snap our fingers and the next thing you see is a close up.
All right, guys, time for the close up. ASM 360. 361 362 363 another copy of 363 shiny venom cover venom number two Venom number three. Another Venom, Enemy Within, part one. Beautiful looking black cover. Venom number two. Venom number three. Guardians of the Galaxy number 25. Another shiny cover. Silver Sable in the Wild Pack, number one. Spectacular Spider-Man, number 189. Ghost Rider, number 25. Batman vs. Predator, number one. Number two. Number three. That does it for that little haul. And then the ultimate pickup. Amazing Spider-Man number 13. Mysterious first appearance. There you go, guys. That's the unboxing and the small collection that we bought. Pretty awesome. We're out.